So today we're going to go over installation of the Hydrologic Continuous Duty Booster Pump with the Evolution RO1000. Now this booster pump can be used to boost pressure into any other reverse osmosis system, uh, commercial RO system, 1,000 gallon a day up to 2,000 gallons a day. It is a powerful motor and pump so it can be used for other purposes but this is something that we designed specifically for the Evolution RO1000 to boost uh, low pressure situations under 40 PSI up to 75 PSI. So when you unbox the booster pump, um, you're going to see that it comes with the motor with the pump already attached to it, quick connect inlet fittings, the pressure gauge, the low pressure switch already connected to it and wired, the high pressure switch with fittings all wired together, and the plug simple 110 plug. This also comes in a 220 version. It does not have a plug, it's just hardwired in. You can put a plug on if you want. The other parts that come with it are the check valve. Uh, it's a one-way one -way valve. The uh, pump filter or pump protector. This has a uh, mesh screen inside. You can unscrew it and clean it out. This basically keeps any debris out of the pump itself because any small debris can damage the pump. Um, if you're using a pre-filter, like the pre-evolution, that would come before this. So it would be in between your feed water, your tap water, and the pump protector. That's where your pre-filter would go. Uh, it also comes with some rubber feet if you want to mount the pump itself on, uh, say, a 2x4 piece of wood, whatever you want to do. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your uh, pump protector filter and push it into the inlet of the pump. Now you can see that there is an arrow um, on the actual pump itself, the down arrow meaning that's the water that comes in, and then the up arrow is the water that goes out to the unit itself. So this is your inlet. So you're going to push this right in, then you're going to want to take the line the half inch line that came with your evolution that's feeding your evolution and you're going to want to cut it using uh, either some tubing snips that we do sell or a very sharp uh, pair of scissors or knife say on a cutting board. You want to make a nice square clean cut. So now your feed is going to go into that quick connect fitting and then your uh, pump is going to be pushing the boosted pressure, uh, the water, uh, into the evolution via this fitting. So you're going to push that in there now. So that's how you hook up the in and the out to the pump. The product water line on your evolution, you are going to want to install this check valve and there is an arrow on the check valve pointing in the direction that the water flows anywhere on the blue line before the high pressure switch. So I'm just going to Cut the blue rock line right there. Go ahead and push that fitting in. And then I'm going to cut the blue line again. And that's going to go into the high pressure switch. Now, there's really no um, or orientation to which way the high pressure switch needs to get plumbed. So you can just plumb it however is convenient for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, you can, you know, somehow strap this to the wall with some hose clamps or however you want to do it. You don't have to have it floating like this. You do want to, you know, protect that from water and spills and whatnot. And then um, your included ball valve that came with your Evolution, you can use this to control the water on and off, or you can hook it up to one of our 3 8 float valves into your tank. So that's basically how you're going to hook the system up the pump to the evolution, the main water going into the pump, then you've got your check valve, you've got your high pressure switch, your low pressure switch is already mounted on there. Now the rubber feet, um, you are going to need some additional hardware and you know without us knowing exactly how you're going to mount it, we only include the rubber feet. So you've got this threaded post and then you've got a female thread on this end which is the same as this. So typically what I would do is I would uh, have this come up through the mounting holes on the feet of the pump, get the appropriate size washer and nut that you need to cinch that down, and then thread um, a rod or something through the piece of wood that you're using um, to be able to thread this on. 
and that'll that'll keep it you know kind of isolated from any vibrations but you know you could mount this directly to the piece of wood as well and it probably will be just fine we just include these just in case you wanted to get a little extra fancy with your uh with your mounting options so that's that's the install process uh next video i'm going to show you how to operate it and all the features associated with it